Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how to export code via Anima from your imported designs. Let's do it. In this video, I'm going to start off with the design I have previously imported into Anima. So here we can see the desktop homepage of my workout app, Trainers. If you need help getting to this point, please do watch my previous video in which I show you how to get your designs into Anima completely from scratch and step by step. For those of you who already have that covered, let's get to discovering how to get the code that you need from your designs. So first off, I'm just gonna to navigate to this button right here, the one that says code, and simply click. This will show you two windows at the bottom, one with the title HTML and one with the title CSS. HTML, or specifically HTML elements, are considered to be the building blocks of most web pages. And thanks to technologies such as CSS, we essentially add a lot of styling to them to make them look like this trainer's app web page. We can also choose to view the generated React code. React is one of the most popular libraries for developers, and Anima has worked with a team of software developers to make the generated component self-contained and readable. Now, let's get to selecting these elements in our design to get the code that we need. For those of you who might not be used to dealing with the word elements, by element, I simply mean anything you can see on the screen right here. For example, if I hover over the start your free trial area, you will see a blue box appear and the word div. A div is an element and this element just happens to have other elements inside of it. So you will see here an input element and another div. So let's click this parent element right here. And voila, you will see exactly what we are talking about appear in code. So if I just expand this, so you will see the parent div that we clicked on and all its children elements, or in other words, the elements that I discussed. So the input element, and all the other divs. Now the reason that they look the way they do is because of the CSS, and that is right here. Okay, okay, and you might be telling me this, but it all looks like gobbledygook to me. How do I know that if I select this element right here, I will actually get the code I need in the exact way that it looks like now? Well, let me show you. As a test, I'm gonna use an online IDE or integrated software environment called CodePen to show you. Now, if I click on this element again and literally take all of this code on the left right here, as well as take all of the code here and then put it in CodePen or simply click here, boom, there is our component. It looks exactly the same, it's not formatted, and the best part is that it is self-contained and totally reusable. I could essentially pass this on to a developer exactly like so, and they can put it wherever they want. Okay, so there we have it. That is how you would generate code in Anima. Now, whether your team prefers to work in React or perhaps you prefer HTML and CSS, that part is totally up to you. Now that we have that covered, let's move on to the next video.